What's up, bros? We are here with Matthias Omatola uh, of uh, Maxon fame. Um, he is, man, you, you're the guy. You're the guy. I'm a guy. You're the I guy. A guy. <laughs> you're yes, the guy. Correct. So, like, I mean, you're the one who, like, you know, keeps order, who's booking people for the, the shows, yeah. who's, you got... Manages chaos. Ma yeah. Instead of Absolutely. keeping order. Yeah, Absolutely. I manage chaos, yeah. And, you know, we're all a bunch of children, and you kind of <laughs> parent cats. us and I, keeps... I yeah. cats. It's more like cats. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, you're the man in charge of, like, basically bringing in all these artists and stuff, and, like, you know, do you get a lot of submissions? Do you, do you actually have to go out and look for these artists? It's, and it's a combination. Do, give me a little yeah. bit about that process. Yeah, so it's a, it's a combination. So um, a lot of times artists are showing me other artists. They're always like, hey, have you seen so-and-so's work? So that's always happening. I'm always on Vimeo. That's kind of where I do most of my, my screening. Or if I've seen uh, you know, an amazing commercial or something like that, I'll jump back and say, oh, you know what? Let me, go, uh, let me go take a look and who was working on this. Oh, it's one of our studios, or I know that name, or I'll just dive in. So we always have people submitting PR stories or uh, things from features and stuff like that. So, But usually it's artist referral. So mm -hmm. even folks like you, like, hey, you should check out so-and-so, or somebody will follow me on uh, Instagram, and I'll follow them back, and I'll see their work, and I'll be like, hey, let's come out. Or the shows, the mm -hmm. show themselves. I'm meeting people, they're showing me reels. So, yeah, yeah it's just community, generating more community. Yeah. And you're out there a lot. You're doing all the different shows. It's, I feel like every time I contact you, you're at some other different show, you know, all around the country doing this stuff. Uh, uh, I mean, is is I don't know how to I don't know what, what the question is there. <laughs> I'm just saying like you're all over the place. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, it's still the thing is you go from event to event, and there's different seasons. So there's like NAB season, and in between there's a couple major events, and then there's like SIGGRAPH, and then after that it's a lot of smaller ones. Yeah. So it it does have a you know, it seems like a ridiculous pacing, but the cool thing is every city that I go to, I'm meeting an amazing artist. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm being able to connect with the artist, being able to see the, the work that they're doing. Uh, if it's in sports graphics, it's, if it's in medical illustration, animation, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the thing that keeps me going is every time I show up somewhere, it's cool, amazing artist in that region or something like that. So it's not, I don't get the burnout that you normally do of yeah. just like, you know, just a drudge work. It's yeah. like, oh, new inspiration, new inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. And the Maxon community, it's a it's a good community. It's very close knit. Yeah. You know, and it, it must be nice going to all these different c cities and seeing like friends. You know, because we're all friends basically. Yeah. We become friends through all these different road shows and NAB and SIGGRAPH and stuff. And I feel like you really help tie the community together. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, since since I've been here, it's one of the big things. I mean. Uh, you know, when I when I got here with Paul and Rick, when I was sitting down with the interview and seeing the uh, the family uh, environment. Gosh, I would have loved there. to be a fly on the wall in that interview. <laughs> so, so that was yeah. So when I was here like eight years ago, it was like sitting down and actually getting an idea, and it was just like, okay, they need somebody to be able to foster what's already existing. And for me, I was already, you know, following Andrew Kramer and I was following, you know, Nick Campbell at those, those times, just at the you know, early stages before everything got really crazy. And it was just like, I liked what was happening. It was the sharing of the information. It was the teaching of the techniques. It was feeling like you were actually part of, you know, you're, you're, you're in. Yeah. You weren't on just the outside and it was just like this paid gateway. You're already part of the family. So I tried to take that and just really expand that into like, hey, no, welcome. This is what we're spending our life doing. Yeah. You know, we spend countless hours yeah. talking about rent you know, yeah. in front of our computer, doing all those different things. So why not make it as enjoyable? And, and it's, it's changed so much in the last eight years. I don't think there's another te technology company that when I go to one of their events, that feels as welcoming as it does here. You know, this just feels like family. Yeah. I think someone said at NAB, like uh, the Maxon uh, booth what gave out the most hugs out of any other group. <laughs> you will definitely probably get the most hugs here. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. Okay, thank you so much cool. for taking Always the time. A pleasure, yeah. Cool. Um, stick around. We got a couple more interviews left on the SIGGRAPH floor 2017. Yeah.